Hello beautiful humans, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tessa Stewart. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back beautiful. <laughs> so in today's video, I will be doing a review of the T3 Airbrush Duo. So if you would like to see my thoughts on this machine, then just keep on watching. But before we move any further, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification bell so that you're alerted with all of my future uploads. And let's get right into the video. All right guys, so let's just jump right in. If you watched my Sephora haul, then you know that I picked up the T3 Airbrush Duo um, during the VIB or the Rouge sale. I actually have been eyeing this for a minute, okay? So back when I tried the Airwrap, the Dyson Airwrap, I was looking for other alternatives because it just really didn't work out for me. I wanted it to work, but it didn't, okay? So I was looking for other alternatives and I stumbled across this. So I put it in my car, I waited for the sale, and I picked this sucker up, okay? So let me tell you what interested me the most. So it's interchangeable, just like the airbrush or the um, air wrap, sorry. So it comes with two brush heads. So you have the paddle brush attachment. You also have the round brush attachment. And then this is just the base that it comes with. So on here, you have the on button, the cool shot. On the other side, you have um, the airflow, the temperature, and I'm not exactly sure what that button is for, but we can talk about that later, okay? So let me just give you what its claims to fame are. I'm just gonna read it directly from Sephora. <laughs> So the key benefits of the T3 Airbrush Duo are the round brush for bold, voluminous looks, paddle brush for sleek and straight looks, the even stream vents ensure even, consistent airflow, and fast styling. What you need to know. So this brush uses T3's Ion Flow technology to make this the best blow dry brush for any hair type. It features a powerful ion generator and a smart, Microchip, so T3 Ion Flow technology can deliver an ion enriched airstream and precise, digitally controlled heat for polished, frizz free results. Now, that's what it was right there, girl. <laughs> frizz free results. <laughs> okay, so if you are new to my channel and you are unaware, my hair is natural. I do wear it blow dried and flat iron straight majority of the time. If it's not like this, it might be in some wand curls. That's generally how I wear it. My main concern is that it can hold up to the weather, okay? I like to use quality tools that will ins be ensure that once I style my hair, it stays in that style until I am ready to take it out, okay? So I generally use a lot of anti-frizz products and heat protectants and devices that claim to get rid of frizz. I also wanted to tell you whether or not it would save you time because you're not using a separate brush you know what i mean normally when i blow dry my hair i use my standard blow dryer with a separate brush and i'm taking both of my hands and i'm blow drying with this it kind of like you know this is a two in one so you don't really need that you just brush this through so i wanted to compare and see like does that save me any time and you will find that out at the end of the video I have already washed and deep conditioned my hair. I have put some heat protectant and some leave-in in. I used the It's a 10 Blow Dry Miracle Glossing Leave-In as well as the Blow Dry Miracle H2O Shield. <laughs> and then I also sprayed in my Kerastase Anti-Frizz Heat Protectant as well. This is the blow dryer. She's actually very light. This is the second time that I'm using it. So this is light, definitely lighter than the air wrap. And like, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about the, the ergonomics of it all yet, but um, so far so good. The very first time that I used this, I loved it. I'm actually excited to do this demo for you. So I'm gonna use the paddle brush on this side of my hair, and then I'm going to use the round brush on this side of my hair. So I'll start over here. I am just going to use the highest airflow as well as the number five heat setting.
number five, the number five setting. I was actually on setting number four. Okay, so I was on the highest speed, but setting number four, and this is what that section looked like. And that was a huge, a pretty big section that it went through. Normally I do smaller sections when I'm using my paddle brush and separate uh, blow dryer, but it handled it quite well. It didn't pull at my hair, it doesn't tug at my hair. Like I said, this is the second time I'm using it. Um, I wanted to use it more than once so that I could give a really honest opinion and like really say like how well it works or whatnot. So, but yeah, so girl, we're just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna finish this side of my head and then I'll check back in with you before I start the second side with the round brush attachment. So this is the second section. Yeah, I, I like how my hair feels. I do like how my hair feels. Like, and you can still get the root too, so. guys so I am completely finished this side I used the paddle brush attachment it did such a good job guys that was very quick even with me like stopping to do stuff and like restarting like think like when you're filming this stuff is not cohesive okay <laughs> It doesn't go smoothly like what you see as a finished product and it takes time and even though I was like taking my time or whatever it took me like seven minutes to do this entire side of my head, okay? Which is very, very good. Um, I'm going to do, like I said, the round brush, brush on this side of my head now and we'll take it from there. But so far, so good. I like it. All right, so it's actually pretty simple to change the brush head. There's a little mechanism on the back. You push it in, twist the top right off, and then you pop the next one right back on. Very simple, very quick. I will say is the round brush is definitely a learning curve but I kind of like it I kind of like it completely blow dried my hair <laughs> and I have used the paddle brush attachment on this side the round brush attachment on this side honestly I did go back through this side of my hair with the paddle brush because I'm not sure how to use the round brush I am not a hairstylist I'm not a professional and I don't do blowouts like that not just plain blowouts with one of these I did try to use it around my edges I think because the barrel is a little bigger um it did okay. I, I'm not against it. 
I don't necessarily need it. But the paddle um, brush selection or <laughs> the paddle brush option, I definitely will obviously use. I do think that it helps with reducing the time. Now the first time it didn't help me reduce any time because I'm very used to using the paddle brush like separately, but using it built in, pretty good. So I'm going to finish the rest of my hair. I'm going to see how it performs after I flat iron and then I'll be back with the rest of my thoughts. Guys, so here are my final thoughts. Um, I like this. I'm pretty sure you could tell already <laughs> from the beginning of the video and maybe even um, during the demonstration, but this is very easy to use. It's lighter than the Dyson. The, yeah, the grip is a little awkward or whatever, but you do get used to it pretty quickly. And because it's so easy to just like work through your hair, you get adjusted pretty quickly. Like you're not blow drying long enough for this to start like really bothering your hand. The air wrap when I was using it after a while, like literally my hand got fatigued because of the, the awkwardness of the barrel and then the weight of it. But it doesn't do that with this. So I like this a lot. I give this a good four out of five, <laughs> okay? I am going to keep it. I do believe that it does save me just a little bit of time. It does save a little bit of time. I don't believe that it gets your hair as smooth as using a separate paddle brush and a traditional dryer. But if you're looking at my hair right now, you don't need it any smoother. You know what I'm saying? Like this is good enough for me. So I like this. Obviously I'm gonna keep my tr traditional blow dryer as well, but I'll probably reach for this a lot because it's super quick. It's super quick, unless I want a very straight hairstyle. So if you were eyeing this versus the air wrap, this is definitely, if you have texture close to mine, this is definitely way better than the air wrap. Now, I, I'm not sure about the round brush. I can't say the effectiveness of the round brush because I don't know how to use this that pro properly. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm not a hairstylist. This is not something that I reach for on a regular basis. Like, yes, my hairdresser, she uses it, but I've never done it on myself. So for me, I used it. It's just like using the other one for me. It's a win-win for me. I like it. I just like the machine. I say it's worth the money, especially if you can get it on sale. And this is definitely a better alternative to the air wrap, the Dyson air wrap. If you tried the air wrap, right? If you're like me <laughs> and you tried the air wrap or you were thinking about trying the air wrap, you see how thick your hair or how thick my hair was and how it didn't work for me. And you're skeptical about it working for you and you don't wanna fork out the, you know, the $500, try this, try this. If it's between this and maybe let's say the Dyson air wrap, I would choose this. If it's between this and the Dyson Supersonic, I would say, if you don't wanna do the paddle brush yourself separately or you're not interested in using like the concentrator nozzle, you might wanna choose this one even over the Dyson Supersonic. Yeah, unless you just really want a traditional dryer, then yeah, okay, Dyson Supersonic, you know? If you wanna try that and your main concern is heat damage, you know? But I really, I really like this. I would give it a try. I give this a four out of five. That's just it. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm not gonna keep this going. I'm not gonna ramble anymore. Those are my thoughts on the T3 Airbrush Duo. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was informative. Um, if you like videos like this and there are other any other hair tools that you would like to see me review, girl, please comment that below. <laughs> I am a gadget person, girl. I love gadgets, especially ones that can make my life easier. <laughs> I'm all about that because right now, for me, it's about saving time, okay? Convenience and saving time. So if you come across any um, hair tools that you wanna see tested out, be sure to comment that below and I'll be sure to look for it and maybe, hopefully, I can do a review for you girls in the future. If you like this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you're alerted with all of my future uploads. Make sure that you turn on your notifications <laughs> for your YouTube app <laughs> because if you don't, they don't notify you, girl, even if you put notifications for the video. So, all right, that's enough of my rambling. I will see you in the next video. Bye.